Well guys, sunny Southern California. We just finished up that Emperor's Drills Day. Uh, it's February and it is snowing. It is like really snowing. So, a um, couple tips when you're coming to your first Dynamic Drills Day or Skill Builder. There's a couple things to think about. I get a lot of these questions. I want to address them right now since it's fresh in my mind. Read the event description. If you have questions, email info at monarchdefense.org and we'll be happy to address those questions. You're going to need to prepare your equipment. Please, please, please. If you're going to bring a holster, bring a quality holster that's formed to your gun. If you bring a floppy like nylon holster that's open top and one size fit all, it ain't going to work real good. So today we had a gentleman who's got um, a gun. He doesn't know how to use the... Not sure how to use the safety. He was not sure how to cock his gun. Not sure how to clear malfunctions. He had a holster that didn't know how to snap it. The snaps on it were just shitty and held on by Velcro. And like his gun was about practically going to lose his gun on the on the range. So please make sure that your holster is well fitted to your gun. The next thing is if you're going to use a long gun. You don't have to use a sling, but I highly recommend one. And again, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be complex. A five dollar USGI sling like this on eBay. $5 is all it takes. Strap it to the front and the back of your gun. Got it. Um, get your sling to attach to the front of the back of your gun so you can hold onto your rifle or shotgun when you're not using it. Um, one point slings, they do work, but they're going to be banging around on your knees and stuff. So keep that in mind, right? What we've seen is that one point slings, people tend to struggle with them when they actually need to, you know, run and move when they're not actually holding onto their weapon. So as far as ammunition, steel case is fine. Remember, um, no green tips or steel core ammunition on our steel targets. If you want to bring frangible rifle ammunition, if you want to order that, that's awesome, but you don't have to, okay? And we would use those for rifles on steel targets within 100 yards. Um, as far as magazines, little tips, it helps to mark your magazine base plates, particularly Glock 19, Glock 17 mags, uh, GI mags, mark them so that way they're distinct and you can find your magazines again, all right? So that'll really help you. Next thing is uh, dress for the weather. If it's hot, bring water, bring a bucket of ice, bring cold drinks, um, bring shade, bring a stool to sit on so you can cool off and be able to just keep in mind to get in the shade, take your gear off, let yourself vent, you know, um, you know let your sweat dry which will cool you off. If it's a cold day like today, today we're in the 30s, um, layer up, wear synthetics. If you show up in a cotton sweatshirt and it's raining, snowing, or sleeting, you're gonna have a really hard time on the range today. If you're wrapped in synthetic, long underwear, uh, synthetic pants, wool socks, you're gonna be fine even though it's 20, 30 degrees out and blowing, right? So that's something to think about. If you're gonna wear body armor, Make sure your body armor is fit to yourself. If you wear body armor that's sloppy and you don't really know where the bu buckles go, you're not familiar with it, you're going to have a hard time, okay? So bring gear that you're familiar with. Spend some time, familiarize your gear, get in goofy positions, crawl around on your living room floor. It's going to look funny, your wife will laugh at you, but get uh, familiar with your equipment so you know where to find things. Next thing is if you got little bits of things like tourniquets and scissors and pens and you know pouches and whatever, strap them down. So today we had a gentleman and his tourniquet just like, we we're just talking, standing there, his tourniquet just like boom and fell onto the ground, okay? So it does you no good to have gear if you can't keep track of your gear and you got so much gear that you're losing it on the range. The next thing is, I hate to say this, but you need to be physically in shape, okay? So if you're gonna come to Dynamic Drill State particular, advanced tactics, uh, even skill builder classes, there's some leeway in skill builder classes for us to slow it down, but for, for dynamic drills days and advanced tactics, you need to be able to spend, you know, eight hours on your feet. And, you know, and I know that it's not fair for me to say it. You guys are going to look at me like, ah, oh, he's like 19. So, you know, do your best to stay limber, stay stretched out, get good nutrition, make sure you sleep, make sure you're eating well, make sure you're drinking water. Then when you come here, it's also important to make sure you're, you're mentally clear-minded and that you are able to take the stresses from your daily life and put those aside so that you can focus. Because if you're stressed out or you're flustered or you're, you're not physically in good shape, you didn't get enough sleep last night, what's going to happen is then that you're making mental errors when you're on the rage. And mental errors equate to safety issues, okay? So um, if you have more, further questions on your gear, your setup, um, when in doubt, keep it simple. If you still don't know, email us, info at monarchdefense.org, and I'll be happy to address your questions. That way, if you want to know more about these classes, what to expect, watch the videos, follow us on Instagram, because on Instagram, we'll caption a lot of things. You know, like, for example, interesting things that happen, like yesterday, we had a guy lose his rear sight. 
Okay. Um, today we had a guy take his 1911, jam the magazine, a 10 round magazine, and he stuffed the magazine so high up into the gun that his gun stopped working. We had another guy today that had an accessory like a magwell wrap on his AR-15 that stopped him from getting his 10 round magazine up inside the magazine well. He just couldn't get it up far enough. Okay. And so he had to basically change out rifles or take off that accessory. We get people coming with sites like, guy showed up today, he wanted to unpack his rifle, he's like, well, should I put my scope on? If you're going to come with a scope, the scope should be zeroed, which means it should be on your gun. Don't show up to the range thinking you're going to put the scope on because then it's not zeroed. Fortunately, today for Dynamic Drills Day, we're working pretty close and the scope not being zeroed wasn't an issue. But again, come with your rifle zeroed if you have a shotgun. This is really important with a shotgun. Know how to work your safety. Know how to work your sling. If you have a shotgun and you want to set it up with a pistol grip stock, a Mossberg, you're going to have a hard time getting up there to that safety. If you have a Remington and you put a pistol grip around it, it's going to be really goofy to get onto your safety. So you're going to spend some time getting to familiar with your safety. Remember, safeties are operated with the dominant hand. If I'm right-handed, as in I write with my right hand, and I'm going to operate my gun right-handed, I need to be able to manipulate my safety, particularly for shotguns, with my right hand. If you're left eye dominant, shotguns and rifles, I recommend that you're training with your left shoulder, which means your dominant eye. That means you're going to need to use your less dexterous hand, your more clumsy hand, and learn how to operate the safety on a Mossberg, the safety on a Remington, which you have to come underneath the gun to make it safe or to make it work, right? Other things to think about, if you have an AK-47, you're using it uh, in a left-handed capacity, make sure you're familiar with how to operate the safety. Today we had a guy with an AK, his weapon's on safe, he uh, muscles the charging handle and takes the safety and cranks the safety way up in the wrong direction. Again, if this is Greek to you, uh, that's okay. Just know that the point here is understand your equipment, understand how it works. If you have questions, come ask me. And if you don't know, you're gonna come here to Dynamic Drills Day and you will find out that you don't understand your equipment. Again, you're here to learn. It's okay to struggle as long as you're struggling safely, but you can really smooth things out for yourself. If you think about this, ask questions, watch the videos, watch the Instagram post to get an idea of what you're getting into, show up prepared as best you can. We had a gal that uh, got here today and before it even started snowing, she's like, it's too cold. She got back in the car. She spent the whole day inside her car. Like, you know, that's not fun. You pay money to be here. You take time out of your day to be here. I want you to spend time and have a good time on the range. If you show up and you're not prepared for the weather and you're cold or you're hot or you're sun or you're heat stroked or whatever, that's no fun for you. It's no fun for us, you know, because we want you to have a good time. All right. If you have questions, uh, either contact us by uh, email, 408, I'm sorry, email uh, info at monarchdefense.org. If you must, uh, call me by my cell phone, 408 892 5460. 408-892-5460. My name is Brian. Uh, this is Monarch Defense and Dynamic Drills Day on a snowy, snowy, snowy range in sunny Southern California. Okay, be good. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.